This video is definitely going to be a next level knife review just because of the amount of thought that was put into this design. I'm super impressed with this and I'm ready to put it on display. Stick around. One of the most common phrases in life is that we get what we pay for. And I really do believe that in most scenarios and I believe it applies in this scenario because the blade we're going to be looking at today does not fall into the budget category nor should it but it will fall into the category of those who are looking for one of the most perfect everyday carry fixed blade designs i have ever seen as far as effectiveness and practicality with carrying and that blade is the beckwith covert from fisher blades out of Montana. This is a USA made masterpiece and there's a lot more to this than meets the eye. This is AEBL steel from Germany, but this is made entirely in the USA, scales and all. I had an in-depth conversation with the designer of this Everyday Carry Fix blade and I want to share with you a lot of the thought process behind this. First, let's get a look at the contents in the package. You get this in-depth manual, which we will dive into. How you like the headquarters there? I'll let you read that for yourself. <laughs> you also get a copy of the U.S. Constitution. You get the sticker, Fisher Blades USA, a Band-Aid, because you, know, you never know when you might mess up. You get to take a look here at the design, the batch number, and all of that, as well as an alternate sheath here as we will be talking about in the carry options. The Beckwith Covert was designed to be specifically an everyday carry defense blade. And I emphasize fixed blade because it has no moving parts and you don't have to worry about it malfunctioning. This is also specifically designed to be carried in your front pocket and it's slim enough to be comfortable. Yet, there's no compromise when it comes to sturdiness. Now, my friend, I just want you to get a look at that right there. This is so discreet and so comfortable to carry. When you lift your leg and you move around, it's just super comfortable. I want you to see this up close. This is designed to be indexed on the draw, regardless of what position you pull it from, whether ice pick or this way. Now, one of the things that I will say is that resheathing does take special care. When you deploy this, you can't just pop this right back in based on the placement of the sheath in the pocket. You have to do a little maneuvering, but if you have to deploy this, you don't need to be putting it up anyway. You need to get the job done before you worry about putting it back anyway. Now, I do want to show you something here. I'm sitting in the car. Here's my top saw. I carry this a lot, but it does dig in a little bit when I sit down and I have to kind of push it to the side. No big deal. The Beckwith doesn't do any of that. It's just right here. I can lean forward. I can do whatever and I'm good. Something else to consider when you think about the design of this pocket carry being a little bit thinner, you can also put other things in the same pocket. You know, I've had some knives that I've pocket carried and you couldn't put anything else in the pocket. It's not that way with this one. Now I love my top saw and I highly recommend it because it's obviously a much lower price point, but it does not have the same comfort as the Beckwith. It's designed to be a full hand grip regardless of what position you carry this in. I have a large glove size. If you have gargantuous hands, you may struggle with this just a little bit, but it's absolutely perfect for my hand. And you know, your hand could be even bigger than mine and it would still be okay. But this is designed to be a full hand grip regardless of what position you operate in. And when I talked to Chaz, he said he wanted this blade to be not too long, but long enough to do business. And it is long enough to reach key arteries if need be. This is the perfect shape for those who like saber grip here and here. This has got a very, very nice jimping. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect for that grip to be able to maintain this blade and to have a good firm grip on the object. It is also really well set up for reverse and ice pick grip. You've got a very nice ramp here for the thumb and you've got guard on both sides. Uh, you're guarded on both ends. This blade is locked into your hand. Now these scales here are flat and they're coarse textured. It's got a really nice coarse texture on these G10 scales. But I want you to get a look at the blade from this angle as well. It's really hard to beat the Tanto design 
for self-defense just because of its ability to pierce, to get serious piercing power and slicing power here with this corner. Now we've got to talk about this manual. It is a review in and of itself. It's so you know, well thought out in its categories and its table of contents, grips, carry options, whether it's saber, hammer, reverse grip, deployment, um, just all the different things you want to look at with regards to this blade. As you can see, here's the specifics of the design with the pommel, the rear quillion, the grip and handle, the finger guard. There's the sharpening choil, if you can see that there. The tanto intersection, the tip, the swedge, and the thumb ramp. That's the body of the blade as a whole. You know, you've got the intended purpose of the blade here, which we've, we've covered. And you've got all the specifications, 60 to 62 HRC. You see the blade finish there. The thickness, the overall thickness, the scales, the length. This thing is 7 inches. Weighs 3.6 ounces without the sheath made here in the USA. You're provided with deployment strategies, movements, and all the rest. As someone who is into combatives, I could not appreciate this section of the manual anymore talking about the blade deployment considerations uh, the difference between moments that call for slashing and stabbing a whole section on that the use of force uh, additional resources even books recommended by the designer with regards to violence edge weapons different things like that and the major arteries here in the human anatomy. You're not going to get a lot of knives that are going to provide you with this type of intentional thought out direction. I may have to even talk to Chaz about designing a trainer for the Beckwith Covert because this is such a stellar design and when it comes to a blade like this you need to train. You need to train deployment. You need to train making a connection with the target. You know a good trainer would give you the ability to pull this thing and pop Bob in the head you know or a heavy bag or just a point of contact you know you could use a milk jug if you wanted to strike with something like this you could hang a milk jug and it wouldn't do a whole lot of damage to your blade and it would pierce it like it was nothing but one of the main things you want to train with if anything is deployment of this blade again i have my blade situated to be able to pull this way to be in reverse grip ice pick that's how I've got it set, to pull it out so I can strike. The pocket grip like this, it's very speedy. This rear quillin is right in the pocket for when my hand comes up, the blade is deployed. Or if you're grabbing it in traditional, it's already there. But now I wanna demonstrate a front pocket pull reverse grip. But regardless of what style you use or prefer, this does allow you very quick and easy access, all the while being very discreet in its position. You just have to train whatever it is you do on a regular. Massive kudos to Fisher Blades for this design. When it comes to pocket carry, this is the best I've tested so far because this is a well-built, well-thought-out blade that carries perfect in the pocket. It's very discreet. Not only that, but it's a good-looking design. I haven't talked about how sharp this thing looks. But as far as everyday carry fixed blades for self-defense, this is top of the line. The Beckwith Covert from Fisher Blades, ladies and gentlemen, what a design. You get what you pay for with this blade and you get something that is useful and practical, something you can carry very easily every day. A lot of times we will spend the amount of money it would take to get this blade trying to find something that works. I know from experience, this is one of those that you can rest assured will take care of every everyday carry need you have for your fixed blade in the area of self-defense. I will drop a link in the description for you to go check this out. What do you think about this blade? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Take care.